All right, the VR game's a 10, but the graphics are a little questionable sometimes. Uh, I'd say a seven. Game's a seven, but the physics systems are great. Solid nine. Game's a nine, but sometimes you have these long, just really just tedious points where you just have to sit there and listen to someone just drone on and on and on. Solid seven. Game's a seven, but there's almost no replayability. Gotta say a five. Game's a five, but you really start to care about the characters towards the end of the game. Solid seven. Game's a seven, but the weapons are all around just amazing to use. Nine. A nine? A nine. All right, so the VR game's a 10, but the graphics are bad. All right, are we talking like retro kind of bad, like on purpose, or are we talking just lazy? Sort of a mix between the two. I mean, the retro graphics do look and I believe are intentional, but they can still, you know, ruin the atmosphere of the game at times. I'd say an eight. Game's an eight, but it's populated by 12 year olds. A five. Game's a five, but the movement system is actually really good and really advanced considering how crappy of a game it is. All right, all right, it's a six. It's a six, but the cosmetics are stupidly overpriced. A five. Game's a five, but not only are the cosmetics overpriced, but they also limit your field of vision. A three. All right, a three? Yep, a three. All right, so the VR game's a 10, but it's another FPS game. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie, those are getting old. I'd say, uh, eight? Game's an eight, but it strives to focus on realism, even though it has terrible physics. Oh my gosh, it's one of those. Uh, six. All right, game's a six, but the graphics are terrible. And I mean, like, just awful. Like, literally when you kill someone, they look like a Muppet. And this game is supposed to be based on realism? Four. Game's a four, but it literally only has two modes you can play in multiplayer, which is basically capture the point and co-op. You have got to be kidding me. A three. Game's a three, but the maps are actually pretty decent. Like, it's probably the best thing about the game. Oh, okay. Uh, four. So we going with the four? Yep. A four. All right, so the VR game's a ten, but it's a rhythm game. Alright, I knew it was only going to be a matter of time before we did this one. Solid 10. Love rhythm games on the quest. Alright, the game's a 10. But it can get old and a little bit repetitive as you go through each and every song and beat them. And there's eventually a point where you'll get too good and the game will just become a little bit, you know, insignificant. Look, this game is still great. I'm going to still say like a 9. Game's nine, but in addition to paying for the game itself, you also get to pay for a bunch of little DLCs to add more songs to it. Okay, yeah, that is a genuine issue, but the game is still great. I'd say solid eight. So it's an eight? Yeah, it's totally Beat Saber, right? <laughs> no, it's Synth Riders. Three. All right, the VR game's a 10. But it's another FPS game. Alright, uh, I'd say a 9. Alright, the game's a 9, but the graphics are kinda mid sometimes. Gotta say a 7. Game's a 7, but the physics system is also pretty mid. Uh, I'd say a 6. Wow, this game is really not doing good. Don't worry, it gets better. Game's a 6, but it also has the biggest variety of game modes of any FPS shooter on the quest so far. Oh, uh, seven. Game's a seven, but it also has a massive variety of weapons that just makes you feel like a complete unit while using. Oh my gosh, uh, nine. All right, so we going with nine? Yep, solid nine. All right, so the VR game's a 10, but the gameplay can get very old after about 15 minutes of playtime. Ooh, I gotta say an 8. The VR game's an 8, but it has no 
actual progression system, so you're kind of just doing the same thing over and over without anything changing. Oh, that's not gonna do well for this game. That's a five. All right, the game's a five. But the physics system and the graphics are just tens. Wait, really? Yeah, no, this game in comparison makes every other game on the Quest library look like absolute crap in terms of physics and graphics. Oh, uh, seven. The game's a seven, but it's also a really intricate and actually pretty fun fighting game. Okay, that actually sounds really fun. So, nine. Games in nine, there is also a wide variety of weapons and spells to make your fights so much more entertaining. Is this gonna be our first ten? Yeah, no, I think so. All right, ten it is. All right, so the VR game's a ten, but it has great physics and great graphics. Is that supposed to make me want to not say it's a ten? Look, I'm gonna level with you. This one's really hard to make fun of, all right? Oh, okay, uh, 10. Right, game's a 10, but... The climbing can be pretty difficult sometimes. Can you just Google things that are wrong with this game? Shut up. Uh, look, it's still a 10. All right, the game's a 10, but it can be pretty difficult for new players to pick up. I guess... a nine and a half? What am I supposed to say here? Uh, I got it. The game's a nine and a half, but it's not on quest. Okay, nine and a half. Look, we both know this game's a 10. Yeah, no, solid 10. All right, the game's a 10, but the community can be really toxic. Man, that always ruins such good games. I gotta say an eight. Game's an 8, but there is a massive skill gap that is very hard to overcome for a lot of new players. Alright, that, that that's a little bit of an issue, but I would still say about a 7. Alright, Game's a 7, but has a really original concept that really works with VR. Oh, I love it when VR games actually harness VR. I gotta say, that bumps it up to a 9 at least. Game's a 9, but it has one game mode that actually forces you to work with a lot of people if you want to play online. Oh man, I'm being honest, I really hate working on a team. Uh, I'd say an 8. Game's an 8, but the physics system is great. Oh, look at that, we're back up to a 9. So we're going with a 9? Yep. Solid 9. Alright, the VR game's 10, but on top of paying for the game? You also have to pay for an in-game currency in order to get the cosmetics. Alright, while I admit cosmetics aren't the biggest deal, that still is pretty annoying. I'd say an 8. Alright, the game's an 8, but it's very team-based. So you are going to have to deal with annoying people every once in a while, and it can get pretty annoying. Oh, I hate being social. Uh, 6. Alright, the game is a 6. But it has a wide variety of weapons to make your strategy in defeating your opponents a lot more fun than you would think it would be. Alright, that helps it out. I'll give it like a 7. Alright, the VR game's a 7, but I gotta say, the gunplay is just not that fun. Just, the shooting is a little bit off and the recoil is just either really good or just really badly designed. Oh, I get it. So the guns just feel off. Um, Alright, I gotta say a 5. Game's a 5, but it's a Battle Royale game in VR. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's a 6. So we're going with the 6? Yep. This is a 6. Alright, so the VR game's a 10. But it has a really weird community at times. Oh, define how weird. An uncomfortable amount of furries. Oh. Oh. 6. Alright, the game's a 6, but this is a great game to start out with on the Oculus. It's very simple in movement, you can explore endless possibilities in VR, and it's obviously just a really good, you know, experience. Oh, that's always a plus. Alright, uh, 7. Game's a 7, but due to almost endless creative possibility, there are a lot of worlds and skins that will crash your quest, making some lobbies unplayable, and other lobbies just really laggy. 
Oh my gosh. Uh, that's a five. Games, a five. But it has endless creative possibilities. They're just really cool to mess with. Okay. Nope, that's a seven. You think people are going to be mad at us for ranking this one a seven? <laughs> oh yeah.